Hi there, this is Mike Gauss. I'm just testing again at Facebook. I'm going to talk about a civil dialogue. What a civil dialogue ought to be. Rabbi Gordis is one of my favorite authors. And he says in a civil dialogue, two people exchange information. While I am talking, I'm not competing with what you are saying and vice versa. It is ability to listen to the other point of view and understand as they say it rather than how I want to hear it. So that is a true dialogue. But if you are not listening to each other, then it is a monologue. So Holy Quran has got a beautiful chapter on conducting civil dialogue. It is called Surah Kafirun and it uses this formula. It has six verses. It is chapter 109 and it starts like this. You don't worship what I worship and I don't worship what you worship. See the beauty of this? It doesn't say, well, I worship something better and your worship is something less. Or your worship is deficient, mine is superior. Not one verse, six verses. Each one puts the other person on an equal pedestal. And that is a genuine, honest dialogue. And that is how dialogue should be conducted. And that's what the Quran teaches to conduct a dialogue. And it, throughout, it is like, I don't do what you do, what you do, I don't do. It's never yours is less or mine is more. It's equal footing. And at the end, it concludes, to you is your faith. And to me is my faith. Meaning, both faiths are equally valid at this time. So let's go our way without any disagreement. That is respectfully going apart and accepting and acknowledging that your faith is dear to you as my faith is dear to me. And that is how friends, civil dialogue ought to be conducted. And I will continue this series. Thank you very much.